That's better. <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome to this video. <laughs> Today I'm doing something that's been a huge trend on YouTube and just the internet in general, and it has found its way into the booktube community as well, and that is tier ranking pretty much anything. People are tier ranking like anything. It can be songs, movies, characters, anything. But today I'm specifically going to be tier ranking every single book series I have ever read. I've seen a lot of people rank like popular YA books and series, rank some of their favorite books, rank like Harry Potter books, stuff like that, but I haven't seen anyone rank like every single series they've ever read or every single book they've ever read. I thought about doing that, but then I was like, I've read way too many books and we'd be here for hours. So I just went with series I've read. I just thought that it would be super entertaining, both for me and hopefully for you, for me to go through every single book series I've ever read and then just rank them because that's fun. And I like ranking things. I like this trend. I think it's really funny, but that's enough of me talking. Let's just get into ranking all of these series. <laughs> so as I was making this, obviously I had to go through and like, figure out every single book series I've ever read, which totaled out to be, I think, 41 book series, if I counted this correctly, if I remember the exact number. It's 41 book series, and I still didn't include every single book series I've ever read, so technically the title of this is a lie, but like, we're ignoring that. I didn't include every single one because some of them I read so long ago that I literally like can't even remember the synopsis or the plot or anything about those series or those books. So I didn't include a couple of those just because I don't remember enough about them and I just didn't think it was fair to rank them if I can't remember enough about them. But in total here we have 41 series even though I've technically read more than that. I will also preface this by saying some of these series I haven't read the entire series. I've only read one book or I've only read a couple of the books. Other ones I've read the entire thing. Some of them are completed series, some of them are not completed series. If I've read the first book in the series I'm still counting it as a series that I've read or at least started reading, but I have made my entire tier list. So it starts from God tier because we have some God tier books. And then I also put demigod tier because I know myself and I know I'm going to try and put too many of these books in God tier and God tier has to be reserved for like the God tier books. So I made a demigod tier for the books that are nearly God tier, but just are not quite god tier. They could achieve god tier status, but there's just something about the god tier books that's a little bit above those, so that's demigod tier. Then we have great tier, good tier, okay tier, bad tier, and trash tier. So let's just get into it. Let's start from the very beginning. So first we have The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have only read The Darkest Minds. Actually, have I read Never Fade? I think I started Never Fade. I started the second book, never finished the second book. <laughs> I'm gonna put the Darkest Minds in okay tier because I don't think it's good tier because there are some books on here that I definitely feel like are above that. For me it's just like okay. I did enjoy it but it's just like an okay book. It's not something I would like heavily recommend. Next we have The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I love this series, like I really really love this series, but it's been so long since I've read it that I feel like I've lost a lot of my emotional attachment to the characters. I really remember loving the characters, but again it's been so long that I'm like how much do I actually like this because I don't think about it that often honestly compared to some of these series which I think about all the time. So I'm gonna put for now, I could change this, I'm gonna put it in good tier because it's definitely above okay tier for me for sure. It might be great tier but I feel like good tier is safe. All right next we have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. This is a series that I read a while ago actually during like a pretty hard time in my life and it helped me through some stuff. So I have like that attachment to it but again same with like The Darkest Minds. I feel like it's very much an okay tier book for me. Like they're just very three star books to me. Next we have The Light Thief, which overall is a fantastic series. I love that whole series. I read it when I was in middle school, fell in love with all of the books, but again it's one that I read so long ago that like I can't tell you the specific details of what happens in that series anymore, but I don't want to knock it for that because I don't think that that means that it's not great. So I'm I think I'm gonna put this in great tier. I think The Lightning Thief is a great tier series. If for nothing else then it's like cultural impact because Rick Riordan is amazing, The Lightning Thief series is amazing, we ignore the movies, but nonetheless it's just a great series. So it's it's great tier. That's definitely a great tier book. Okay, next we have Truly Devious, which I haven't read the last book in this series yet. It just came out this year, but I still haven't read it, so... But I do really, really like this series. It's a YA mystery series, and I think it's really good. Overall, I think it's probably just, like, a good tier series. It's good or great, and I can't decide. I feel like I'm gonna put it in good tier, 
because I feel like it's the type of thing that's really fun to read in the moment, but it's not the type of thing that's like lasting. Like the series doesn't have like a lasting impact on me, but it's very good and I would definitely recommend it. And I have recommended it. I really, really like it. I would reread this series. But to me, because we're comparing it to other series, it's not like exceptional. I might change this later because it depends on where I put other books as well, but I feel like for now good tier is a safe place to keep this one. So we're keeping Truly Devious in good tier. Definitely a great series though, like highly highly recommend. Next we have Strange the Dreamer and I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Strange the Dreamer is one of my all-time favorite series. I love it so much. I think it's exceptionally beautifully written. I think it's one of the best fantasy worlds that exists. I just think it's so magical. It's so good. And I adore it. But I don't want to put too many book series in god tier because I want to limit it to at most five. And I know that's still like a lot. I wish I could keep it at three, but I know myself and I know I'm going to count way too many of them as god tier. So I don't know. But because we're coming to this first, I'm going to put Strange the Dreamer in god tier for now. But if we get to like too many books that I'm putting in god tier, I will move it down to demigod tier. But for now, it's going in god tier because it's literally just like one of my favorite series ever. That's staying there for now. We'll see what happens. Next we have Graceling, which I love Graceling and I love Fire and Bitter Blue, the third book. I don't love as much. It's really good too, but it's not like my favorite. So Graceling, I think I'm going to put in great tier. Overall, I think it's a great series that's withstood the test of time. Like I read it really recently, but it's been out for so long. Like I've owned the book since I was in middle school. It's a great series. Like there's no other way to describe it. It's a great YA series, highly recommend it. That one's easy, that one's solidly a great series. <laughs> okay, <sighs> every time we get to one of my favorites, it gets so hard. So next we have A Darker Shade of Magic, which if you know me, I love A Darker Shade of Magic. I think it is one of the greatest series ever. I love Victoria Schwab. This one's just going God tier. God, no, not Demi God tier, God tier. It's going God tier for now. Depending on where I end up putting other things, I might have to move it around, but for now it's God tier because I've got to have at least one Victoria Schwab in God tier. <laughs> Next we have The Last Magician series, which only has two books out so far. I've read both of them. I was completely taken by surprise when I read this series. I did not expect to like it at all, and it is honestly just straight up demigod tier for me. It's great. It's a phenomenal series, extremely underrated. I think it deserves the hype that a lot of other super popular series get, but it doesn't have the hype and it should. I highly recommend it. I think it's wonderful and I definitely think more people should read it. So it's staying in demigod tier. <laughs> Next we have Vicious, which again is another one that's easy for me. This one goes in demigod tier as well. Vicious is one of my favorite series. Vicious wasn't originally a series because it was only one book and then the second book ended up coming out. So it's kind of a duology. So I count it as a series now and I've read both books and I love both of them. So it's definitely up there for me. It's one of my favorites of all time. That one's easy. <laughs> okay, so next we have Twilight. So as we know, this is trash tier. If I was basing this off of just Twilight, I would just put this in bad tier because I don't think Twilight is a trash book. I just think it's a bad book, but I'm putting it in trash tier because the series as a whole is absolute garbage because of Breaking Dawn and Eclipse. I know people will disagree with me because people hate New Moon more than they hate the other two, but Breaking Dawn is just like the book that is the bane of my existence. So yeah, the whole series, absolutely trashed here. <laughs> Next up, we have Six of Crows, and this one is just super easy for me. This is just like an instant god tier. This is probably like my favorite series. I think about Six of Crows all the time. I love Six of Crows with my whole heart. I recommend it to absolutely everybody. It's just the greatest. Uh, read Six of Crows if you haven't, and it is absolutely a god tier book. There is no question or doubt about that. That one is like the one that I'm the most solid about. Next we have Scythe, which for me is definitely a great tier book. I just finished reading this trilogy. I really, really loved it. The third book wasn't my favorite compared to the first two, but overall as a whole, the whole concept of this dystopian series is fantastic, and I just think it's a great series. I think it's going to be one of those like classics in YA, but I think it's the type of dystopian that deserves the appreciation that Divergent and The Hunger Games got, because I think it's way better than Divergent. Uh, spoiler, <laughs> definitely great tier. Okay, next we have this Savage Song, which for me is again, like just an instant great tier book. I think it's a criminally underrated series or duology. I know I'm not putting it on the same level as like A Darker Shade of Magic and Vicious, but I literally think it's one of her best books ever, like book series, especially the second one. It's just so good and not enough people have read it. Not enough people appreciate it. It's just a solidly great tier book and you should read it. So yeah, that's where that's going. <laughs> All right, next we have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and 
I think I'm gonna put this in good tier. I really, really like Carry On. I liked Carry On as like a solo novel, but now we're getting it like as a series, which I am excited for. I've read the second book. I enjoyed the second book as well, but I personally just think the first book is really good and does like well on its own. I like the other book, but I just don't think it was necessary. That's why I'm putting it there. I really do like it though, and I do recommend it, so. It's a good, it's a good tier book. All right, next up we have Hush Hush, which is a series that I read back in like middle school when I was reading like everything post Twilight that I could possibly get my hands on that had some kind of like forbidden romance in it. I can't decide between bad tier or trash tier because it's definitely trash, like don't get me wrong. Hush Hush is trash. But I feel like based on my enjoyment at the time of reading it, like I really just like had a fun time reading this and I remember it being like, enjoyable trashy and even at that time I thought it was kind of trashy but it was still like fun to read because it was just so intensely dramatic for no reason. I'm gonna put it in bad tier because it doesn't make me angry the way that Twilight makes me angry. So it deserves bad tier, I think, over trash tier for me personally. But I mean, it's easily trash. <laughs> so next we've got Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo and I haven't read the third book in this series, gonna be honest. Um, and I don't really plan to because to me, this is just like deeply an okay series. As much as Six of Crows is God tier for me, Shadow and Bone is just, so deeply okay to me. I don't really care about any of the characters, like I have no investment in any of them, hence why I hadn't read the last book because I just don't even care enough. So for me it's just like super okay. I don't think it's bad because I think there are so many more books that are like on here that I've read that are definitely actually bad. I just don't really like feel any sort of emotions towards it, other than it's just fine. Okay, next we have Divergent. Um, and I am just going to easily drop this into the trash tier, which I know is a controversial opinion for some people, but if you don't know me, then you might not know that I hate Divergent. I have hated Divergent from like the time Divergent came out. I had read it like the week that it was released and I just thought it was deeply okay. Like I just thought it was fine, but it wasn't anything special. And all the hype started coming out around it and everyone was like, this is better than The Hunger Games. And I was like, how dare you? That's blasphemous. I just, I don't like Divergent. I think it's a trash book. So it goes in trash tier. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Okay, next we have An Ember in the Ashes, which just easily god tier for me. We're already at four god tier books. Oh my god, I'm the worst. <laughs> That's just such an easy god tier for me. That's like literally one of my favorite series ever. I am so excited for the final book to come out and I just like can't wait. I need it. I need it so desperately. I love this series with my whole heart. It's one of the best out there. More people should read it. Like I know it's pretty popular, but at the same time, I feel like people don't talk about it in the same way that they talk about things like Throne of Glass or The Cruel Prince or like any of those series. This deserves that level of popularity. So please read a number in the ashes. This entire video is just me trying to like push my favorite book series on all of you, but like that's my entire channel, so it's fine. <laughs> So next we have the Mortal Instruments series. I'm kind of leaning towards, no, no, I can't put it in good tier. I think it's just gonna be okay tier, especially because of the second half of the Mortal Instruments series. Like if this was just the first three, I might actually bump this up to good tier because City of Glass is just chef's kiss, one of my favorite Shadowhunter books. I think it's so good, but I don't care about the second half of the Mortal Instruments series at all. Like I just personally don't even think it needed to be written. So for me, that's what makes the series overall just okay tier, which I know sounds weird because I love this series. Like I really do love it. Like I love reading it. I love like just being in this world. I love the characters to this day, but it's overall objectively just an okay series, especially compared to a lot of these other ones. Like it's just okay. So we're keeping it in okay tier. We have other Shadowhunter books to get to though. So like, we'll see where those are. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit controversial because I feel like my opinion has changed a lot on Harry Potter. <laughs> Here's my thing with Harry Potter. I love it. I will always love Harry Potter. I will forever care about these characters and this world. It'll always be a part of my childhood. It'll always be something that matters to me. But like JK Rowling will not shut up. <laughs> and usually there are things that like an author can do that I can like drown out and just still like appreciate the series on its own. Like I feel like I've been doing that with JK Rowling for years now. She has been trash for years, been saying things that she just like should not be saying, tweeting things that she should not be tweeting for years. And I've just been able to be like, we're just gonna pretend you don't even exist and it exists in a vacuum. Harry Potter exists in a vacuum and it's its own thing. But recently I've gotten to this place where she just like 
won't stop. And there's just so much Harry Potter content now that I feel like is being shoved down everyone's throats. And this is coming from someone who loves Harry Potter. I can't handle them publishing another new version of this series again. Like we have enough additions. We, we don't need more. We don't need more Harry Potter content. Like, please just like move on from this and let it exist as its own thing. The more and more they try and push more new Harry Potter content onto us, the less and less it's making me like this series. You could say like that I'm not a real fan or that I don't actually care about it or whatever, or that shouldn't influence my opinion of it, but like it does. So for me, I wanna keep the series as like something that I have loved and will always love because it is something I will always love because it was very influential in my life, but it's not a God tier series for me anymore. I would have put this in God tier a couple years ago, but at this point in my life, this is just a great tier series. Like, I think that that is fair for me, for how I feel about this series. It will always be at least great tier. Sometimes it's demigod tier, depending on if I'm reading the series at the moment or not, because I'll forever care about these characters, I'll forever care about this world. But overall, I think more objectively, we can't deny the cultural impact that this series has had on an entire generation of people, but I don't think, if we look at it objectively, very objectively, nostalgia, all the feelings that we have about the series aside, it's not necessarily God tier. It's not. And that's how I feel at least. And with the way that they are marketing it now, the way they're pushing all this new content on everyone, the way that JK Rowling just is, I gotta just leave it at great tier because it just like isn't above that for me anymore. Yeah, that's my little spiel on Harry Potter. You can disagree with me, that's totally fine, but I just feel that way about it now. It makes me sad, but at the same time, like there are other things I genuinely love more at this point, so yeah. Sorry, Harry, but you're staying in great tier. <laughs> okay, next we have Saga, which if you don't know what Saga is, it's a comic graphic novel series that is hands down for me, absolutely a God tier series. <laughs> it is one of my favorite series of all time. I've talked about it for years now. I have been reading it since like only the first couple of volumes were out and I think we're on like volume 11 or something now. I haven't read the most recent one and I really need to do that. It's a sci-fi series that takes place in this world where there are these two planets that are at war with one another. It's definitely adult. It has very mature content, nudity, like graphic violence, sex, so like, keep that in mind if you're interested in reading it. It's definitely NSFW, so uh, just be aware of that. But it's one of my favorite series just ever. It's so good. Every time I talk about it, I kind of compare it a little bit to Avatar The Last Airbender, which is my favorite piece of media in existence because I think it has a lot of the same like messaging and that's why I love it so much. So absolutely god tier for me. Saga is everything. Everyone should read Saga. It's great. Okay next we have Daughter of Smoke and Bone which I am going to put in great tier. I think it's just a fantastic great series, just a classic YA series that deserves the hype that it has. It's that one's easy. That one's great. <laughs> Next we have And I Darken by Kirsten White. I have only read the first book in this series uh, because I didn't like it and I thought it was bad so it is going into bad tier. <laughs> Just definitely not my fave, not the best. Ooh, okay then we have Truth Witch, which <laughs> Truth Witch Witch. <laughs> oh, I'm so not funny. <laughs> Next we have Truth Witch, and I feel like Truth Witch for me is going to be a good tier series. This is in part because I have only read the first book. There are how many books in this? Three books? Four books? It's behind me. Three books and a novella. <laughs> but I have only read the first book, so for me I'm just gonna keep it in good tier, even though I really do love that first book and I definitely want to read the rest of the series. I'm just gonna keep it in good tier because for now I think it's comparable to the stuff that I have in good tier. I would highly recommend it, but I haven't read enough of it for it to be like bumped up to anything above that. Next we have Every Hearted Doorway. This series, oh, I feel like this is a controversial opinion, but like I kind of want to put this in bad tier. It might be okay tier, but I kind of want to put it in bad tier. Here's the thing, okay? I actually really like some of the books that I've read in this series. I think there are maybe four or five now. I think I've read the first three only, but the series is essentially like novellas. And I personally think it would do better if it was just like a bind up of a bunch of short stories rather than each of them being like a short little hundred page story. I don't think it's enough time to develop what the author is like trying to do. I like the themes in the story and I like how fantastical it is, but I just don't think that these stories are executed well just because they're so short and I don't really have a great time reading them. And I'd never think about them anymore. Like it's the type of thing where I feel like it should stick with you because the stories are so weird and out there and like whimsical, but they don't. Like I barely remember anything about them. 
them. So yeah, honestly, I, I'm gonna put it in bad tier. It's kind of more okay tier. It's more in between okay and bad tier because it's not like on the level of like Hush Hush and And I Darken, but it's also like not on the level of City of Bones and Shadow and Bone and The Darkest Minds and stuff. For me personally, I think it's more bad tier. So I I'm gonna leave it in bad tier. That, that might be a little controversial, but it, it's how I feel. <laughs> okay, then we have Fallen by Lauren Kate. Um, again, another book that I read like around the time of Hush Hush, post Twilight. This is absolutely trashed here. Even when I read this book, I could barely finish it. But like, ooh, Fallen is bad. <laughs> It's just like impossible to get through. The movie that they made that was like straight to DVD or something. I don't even know if they had a DVD straight to digital. Honestly, the movie's more watchable than the book is like readable. So yeah, absolutely a trash tier book. Okay, next we have Queen of the Tearling, which for me is definitely bad tier. This was a book that I really wanted to like. It was supposed to be like this adult political fantasy with like this super great badass female character. And it was just so shallow and so tedious and I just couldn't stand it. Um, so yeah, it's just a bad tier book for me. Did not like it. Okay. Next we have The Diviners, which I'm, I think I can easily put this in demigod tier. It's not god tier for me because one, I haven't read the last book, so I need to read the last book. So maybe reading that last book could make it god tier, but I still don't think so because it's still not on like the same level as Six of Crows and stuff for me, but it's definitely demigod tier. Like it's up there. It's one of the greatest series I think that is out there. So yeah, that one is easily demigod tier. <laughs> Next we have The Hunger Games, which just instant classic. I feel like I need to read this again, and part of me feels like if I read it again, I might put it in demigod tier. I might. Would I? Should I? <laughs> it's at least great tier. Like, it's at least great tier. I'm gonna keep it in great tier because I don't feel like that emotional attachment to it the way that I do with like the ones that are in demigod tier and god tier. The Hunger Games is just a classic. It's a classic for a reason. It's exceptional. I don't want to talk about the movies, but the books are exceptional and deserve a high tier. So they're, they're staying in great tier. Then we have Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. I am going to put this in bad tier. I don't think it's trash tier. I just think it's bad tier. I've only read the first three books in the series because when I read them, there were only three books and there weren't going to be more and I didn't like any of them. I read them really, really fast. I read them all back to back in like two days because they're super quick to read, but I don't like them. I don't think they're good. I think they can barely called themselves dystopian and I don't like any of the characters and it's just, eh, in my opinion, a really bad series. So Shatter Me is going in bad tier. Okay, then we have Lady Midnight. So the Dark Artifices series, which again, I kind of want to put this in okay tier and not good tier because I don't really care about the Dark Artifices personally. The thing with the Shadowhunter books is like, I have a really good time reading them. Like it's really fun for me to read them, but like objectively, I feel like some of the series in that world are just okay. So that's why I put the Mortal Instruments and the Dark Artifices there because even though I really like them, I just objectively feel like they're okay. So that's why they're okay tier. I do still love them though, but you know, for the sake of this compared to everything else, they're just okay. Okay, then we have Throne of Glass, the easiest trash tier one that I could possibly think of. If you don't know that I hate Throne of Glass, where have you been? <laughs> so yeah, I hate Throne of Glass. It's absolutely trashed here for me. So that one is super easy. <laughs> Next up, we have Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Um, I've only read the first book in this series so far and the second book is out, so we only have two books. I'm gonna put this in good tier for now because I feel like it's on par with a lot of the books that I have in good tier for me. This could easily change depending on how I feel about the next book and the rest of the series when it finally comes out. But for now, I'm gonna put it as a good tier book because I think it is really good. Okay, next we have a series of unfortunate events and I feel like I just have to put this in great tier because this is like just a classic. It's just such a classic and it's so good. I feel like I have all of like the classic series in great tier. Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, The Hunger Games <laughs> and series of unfortunate events, but I, I just think they're classics like for a reason. There are some things that don't deserve to be a classic, but um, these are books that I genuinely just do think are great and series of unfortunate events is definitely a series that I think is great. Okay, then we have Carval by Stephanie Garber. Again, I've only read the first book in this series. I really liked it at the time that I read it, but again, it's been so long since I've read this too that like I don't even have an inclination to read any of the rest of the series because I don't care enough at this point. I did really like it at the time that I read it, but like I've read so many better series since then and I love so many of these books so much more than this. So I'm gonna just put this in okay tier because I think it's just like 
okay compared to everything else that's in here. I feel like it's pretty equivalent in my mind to a lot of the stuff that's in okay tier anyway, so yeah, I feel like that's fair. <laughs> All right, now we have the Infernal Devices, which like, you know me, you know there's no way I can't put this in God tier because it's so God tier. <laughs> People are gonna disagree with me. A lot of people think the Infernal Devices is the weakest of Cassandra Clare's like series overall. I will fight you. I think it is her best series, hands down, by far. It is so good. If you like character-driven anything, if you like romance, historical, set in London in the 1800s, like it's everything I love. Plus, I grew up on it, so there's a lot of nostalgia there, and I know that's definitely influencing my opinion, but this is my tier ranking list of the books that I have read, so it doesn't have to be completely objective all the time. It's just, it's God tier. Like, it just has to be God tier. I love it so much. Okay, moving on, we have Matched by Ali Condi, which I've only read the first two books in this series. I never read the last one because I could not get past the second book. Crossed was the most boring thing I think I've ever read in my entire life. So because of that, I'm putting it in trash tier. Like, it's not good. It's really just not good. Again, we had another post Hunger Games dystopian that tried to be the Hunger Games that just like couldn't even come close. So trash tier. That one and Divergent can just live together. <laughs> okay, then we have the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I have not finished the last book, but I've read the first two. And even with that, it is a great tier series in my opinion. It's just exceptional fantasy. It really, really is. I love it. I really need to read the last book. I actually should reread the entire series because it's been so long that I don't remember enough. But yeah, really, really love the Mistborn trilogy. Definitely great tier. Then we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which I kind of want to put in great tier as well, but I'm kind of leaning towards good tier. Actually, hold on. There's like some stuff I want to rearrange for a second because I'm looking at like this great tier and good tier and there's just some stuff that like feels a little bit off. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to move Scythe down to good tier just because the last book in the series was a bit underwhelming for me. Like I just didn't think it lived up to the first two and because of that it brings the series series as a whole down a little bit in my opinion. I still think it's really great, but compared to some of the books that I have in the Great Tier series, I feel like it's more of just good tier. And then I think I'm going to put To All the Boys I've Loved Before in good tier as well. Again, it's another series that I do think is really great actually, but overall I do feel like it's more solidly good tier. And then the other thing I'm actually going to end up moving <laughs> is The Raven Boys. I'm going to put it in great tier just because now that I'm like looking at this and like looking at everything next to each other, like The Raven Boys deserves to be next to those other series for me. I love it that much. And even though it's been so long since I've read it and I have like little memory of like the events that took place in the series, I still like, I still love those characters with my whole heart. So yeah, that one's great tier. So sorry, had to shift, had to shift some things around for a minute. But now we're on the very, very last book. And that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which is the first book and I've only read the first book because uh, this is going in bad tier. I thought it was bad. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, actually, I thought it was just okay, but compared to the books that I have in okay tier, I feel like it's just more bad tier to me. I really like didn't care about this. I didn't care about any of the characters. I didn't like the main characters. I didn't care about the plot either. I liked like one side character. And honestly, I remember nothing that happened in this book because nothing about it was memorable to me. So that's why I'm putting it in bad tier. And that's why I didn't continue with the series. I know a lot of people really, really love the Cruel Prince series. Um, it's a super popular series, but it just, I don't like it. I don't like it. So it goes in bad tier. But there we have it. This is it. This is my tier ranking for all of the book series that I have ever read. <laughs> Looking at this, I did end up putting six books in God tier. And I'm not going to change that <laughs> because I think all six of those series are God tier. They are God tier for different reasons. And I feel like if you look at just that top list, that pretty much encompasses my taste like to a T. Those are like my favorite series. I love those series so so much and they all deserve to be up there. So 
yeah, I don't care that I have six god tier books. Um, they all are gonna stay there because they're all exceptional. <laughs> so that's it. That is it for my tier ranking list of all of the book series that I've ever read. This was actually a lot of fun and about as difficult as I expected it to be. <laughs> and also kind of informative for me because I didn't know how I was gonna rank these series. I've never actually ranked my favorite series or any of the series I've read before. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts on my list were. Uh, would you have ranked these any differently if you read any of these series? If you want to rank these series yourself. I can leave a link to the um, list that I made in the description box below, but you can also make your own on the website. It's like super, super easy if you don't want to rank the series that I've read, because I doubt that there's anyone who's read exactly all of the same series that I've read. Like, I'm sure there are more you've read or someone here that you haven't. But if you've read every single one of these, let me know, because that would be fascinating. If we've read like all of the same series, I really want to know that. So if you have, please do let me know. <laughs> if there's anything else that you want me to rank, let me know. I might make it. I have a lot of ideas for things I want to rank, but like I'm afraid my entire channel will just turn into me ranking random stuff. But if you have any ideas for things you would like to see me rank, do let me know. If I don't make a video out of it, I might just like post about it on Twitter or Instagram or something. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was fun for you. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!